Astronauten auf dem Mond. <lacht> Hi again guys, welcome back. Today is still Tuesday, January 2017. So taking a slight deviation away from the markets and political news. This is for those who are a bit more of a deeper thinker. Because the more you find out about things, the more you find out how you were taught the wrong things through the indoctrination camps. What most people call schools. So whether this article is actually accurate, it requires the ability to think outside the box and have cognitive thinking. So the title of this is what we know about the 12 month calendar is all wrong. Why we should be using the 13 moon cycle. This is published on the 9th. Again via Operation Disclosure. Source is True Theory by Luke Miller. Is what we all know about the calendar all wrong? Life is one big cycle made up of lots of decreasing smaller cycles, perhaps moving infinitely in both directions. One second, one minute, one hour, one day, one week, one month, one year, one decade, one century. This is all just a cycle of time too. We also have life cycles, karma cycles, body cycles, relationship cycles, behavior cycles, sleep cycles, energetic cycles, earth cycles, and planetary cycles, and perhaps infinite cycles within all of these cycles. And that's why, guys, when I refer to things in the markets, everything is cycles. Given the nature of this, it, will, it could be argued that how we measure cycles could have a significant impact on our mental, physical, spiritual, and all-round well-being. This is certainly the idea put forward by the World 13 Moon Calendar Peace Movement, taken from their website. Quote, time is of mind. Change your calendar, change your time, change your time, change your mind, end quote. The 13 month cycle is connected with nature, the moon and the female biological clock. So it is thought that converting to this will sink us more into the natural flow of things. The 13 moon calendar has 13 28 day months, with each month being divided into equally four weeks. 13 times 28 equals 364 days. There is one extra holiday added at the end of December and the end of the year, December the 29th. This is often known as a year day and does not belong to any of the weeks. This brings the total to 365 days. The 13 moon calendar starts on January the 1st, as does the Georgian calendar and the 12 months are named in the same order as our current one. However, there is an extra month called Sol that takes place between June and July. Sol meaning sun. This sits in the middle of the summer in the northern hemisphere and the name of the new month was chosen to pay respect to the sun. The leap year contains 366 days and is the same as the standard leap year. There is one every year in which the number can be divided by four except when the year number can be divided by 100 or 400. So while the year 2000 fell on a leap year, the years 1700, 1800 and 1900 were not. The 13 moon calendar inserts the extra day on June the 29th between Saturday the 28th of June and Sunday the 1st of Sol. A leap day, the same as year day, are not considered a part of a week. They are after Saturday and before Sunday, so it could be called a double Sunday. Every month also begins on a Sunday and ends on a Saturday, meaning every year will also start on a Sunday. All the months look like this, starting on Sunday the 1st and, and, and ending on Saturday the 28th. This system is similar to that of the Mayan calendar, which many thought ended in 2012. However, the traditional Mayan calendar, according to the World 13 Moon Calendar Peace Movement, was a quote closeout of the 5,125 year old great cycle of history and the 26,000 year evolutionary cycle ending in 2012 to 2013. In the natural world, there is no such thing as time, only rhythm, motion and cycles. Moving to a different measurement of time that is synced with this could well be the answer to moving humanity towards a harmonious rhythm. Interesting nonetheless guys because the whole system is designed to make humanity feel out of whack and out of 
rhythm with what supposedly are the natural cycles, all in order to drain you down further and indoctrinate the wrong information into you over, over decades. But obviously the whole implementation of time means very little in the universal scheme of things. But obviously in the day-to-day -day life, everything about your movements is based upon time. Your whole life revolves around a clock. But what is to say that that clock is actually accurate in its time cycle? And wouldn't life be so much more comfortable outside of that restriction of a nine to five? So we'll leave that one there and we'll move over to this next article, which I find quite interesting. So.